So our guest on Hockey North is very, very busy. She's battling for that fourth playoff spot in the PWHL season. She's got to get ready for the World Championships. And oh yeah, she's releasing a merchandise line as well. Jamie, thanks for carving out some time in that busy schedule to chat with us. Oh, thanks for having me. It's been a, a happy to chat with you. Uh, let, let's start on the ice. Big win over New York in your last game. Snap that two-game losing streak. Like I mentioned, that fourth spot is now just so crucial to get yourselves into the playoffs. How big was that win for your confidence and just maybe, you know, finishing the season strong to get that spot? Yeah, it's pretty awesome. I think we really we really needed that as a team. I think we've been kind of doing all the right things uh, over the last couple of games, a couple of weeks, but sometimes you don't get rewarded. And this time it's been really awesome to get get a win. And to be honest, yesterday was just a full team win. And um, to get that overtime win in the end is super fun, especially at home, right? Like I think that was one of our biggest crowds yet. And we really got to you know send them home happy, which is what we wanted. You know, I've said this a lot this year. It was a tough year to try to predict because we really didn't have any sort of sample size, but a lot of people had your team battling for first place in their preseason predictions. And I found the one yeah. thing that it's been kind of tough for your team to find a level of consistency uh, where you're winning a chunk of games in a row and everything's going right. It seems as though you're either on a two game winning streak or a two game losing streak. Do you have an explanation for it? Is it something that, you know, has been addressed where it seems as though the consistency might be the problem? Yeah, I wish I had an answer for you. I think the crazy thing about this league, right, we're all coming from different places, different areas, different teams, different experiences. Um, so I think we're just finding our way to kind of, you know, how do we gel properly? How do we make it work? Who, you know, how, what's the right recipe? And I honestly think, um, you know, we're, we're, we've really found it. We're just trying to kind of put that extra piece of uh, putting 60 minutes together, right? So, um, you know, every team is different. Every team finds that rhythm a little quicker, a little slower. Um, but I honestly think we're doing the right things. And once we kind of get over that edge of, you know, maybe putting more pucks in the net and playing a full 60 minutes, I really think that our team, you know, team will really shine through. And we have the talent, right? You look down our, our roster, it's um, a really strong team everywhere on the ice. We've got great goaltending, great D, and uh, we just got to start putting the puck in the net a bit more. And honestly, I think it's really, you know, maybe we come together right at the end of the year and uh, we kind of surprise some people. So. Um, we're just focused on kind of game by game here, and we just want to make sure we can get the most points we can down the stretch. Has anything surprised you so far in this inaugural season, either on or off the ice, something that maybe you didn't expect? I think, I don't know if surprise is the right word. I think it just exceeded all my expectations, right? I think going into the year, I think we finally, you know, as a player that's been graduated from college for a while, I've kind of seen uh, the different leagues and different, you know, things like that over the years. And I honestly just wanted to make sure this thing, you know, went through and went, went through without a hitch and honestly it succeeded every expectation I've ever, you know, expected. You know, the, the buildings are full, the hockey is amazing. I mean, the product has always been there, but the hockey's been amazing. And just the support, I think, uh, has been the coolest thing. Every, every rink we go into, there's, you know, there's fans with the signs. And I think that's what gets me the most, the signs, every, every warm up, seeing the support. and. Um, I think just it's just been awesome. The energy around the whole league has been really fun to be a part of. And, um, you know, I just hope we can keep this momentum going over the years. All right, let's shift gears a bit. We got to talk about the merch. I see you're wearing the hoodie right now. <laughs> yeah. uh, the first PWHL player to come out with a merchandise line this season. Talk to me how that whole thing came about. And I, I got to know, how much were you involved in the design? What's going to be on the clothing from beginning to end? Were you really hands on with this? Yeah, I was really fortunate. To, uh, I've had a kind of a little relationship with Team LTD over the years. I mean, I've lived in Toronto the last 10 years, so um, they're based in in Toronto. Their office is actually right around the corner from my house. So uh, they're just a really great, great company, really great uh, group of people who run the company. So it was really nice to be able to do a collab with them. And um, I just think bringing the momentum, you know, into w women's sport in general, right? You look at women's basketball right now, it's, it's going off and if we can kind of start building and, you know, continue to build that momentum, I think that was kind of the whole idea on, on this kind of uh, line. And um, and then the, the rat logo, I, I can't take full credit for that. That was, you know, kind of my agency and I, we kind of worked together on that. And that was kind of a cool little touch that I was really excited to see. So honestly, I just, I'm really happy that it kind of worked out. And T Team LTD is such a great company. They've really grown over the last couple of years. And I just think it's really cool that we can kind of do it together. And um, hopefully people like it. And uh, honestly, we just want to keep the momentum going in women's sports. I mean, we've always been, you know, our sport has always been here, but I think the whole message is now it's, you know, this league has really given, given us the visibility we deserve. So 
that was kind of the whole idea behind it. And it's been a lot of fun over the last couple of days, kind of, um, you know, people getting the messages from people saying they bought it or, you know, even the players in the league, you know, asking where they can get it and things like that. So um, I obviously didn't expect that big of a, you know, of a hype behind it, but it's been a lot of fun uh, to be a part of. Well, you mentioned it was great seeing fans with signs. How great will it be to see that same fan holding a sign <laughs> with your sweater on? Yeah, that that would be awesome. I think it's it's cool. I've seen a couple, um, you know, a couple of people already sending me pictures and stuff with with them. So um, it's really cool, and uh, I hope to hopefully we can get the whole Boston crew in them soon. So, like I said, I know you're crazy busy. So thanks again for doing this. Good luck the rest of the way, and maybe we'll be talking to you in the playoffs and after a gold medal. Awesome. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me.